Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So this is a video guide, uh, some tips and tricks for you for the new season of uh, Escalation, one of the most fun season I've played so far. For those of you who are looking for a more detailed walkthrough of the season journey, I've got a video for you as well as a text version of that video. She you want to uh, read instead of watching a pretty long video. So I'll put those links at the description below. Now, together with this new seasons are two very highly requested quality, quality of life update. The first one is you could skip the entire campaign, both for the base game and or the Pro Prophecy DLC if you have already completed it in the past. So by doing so, you will create a level 1 character, full molarity points, and everything is unlocked in the, uh, in the ship. Uh, but what I do find is that uh, without the story ca campaign, I do struggle a little bit to get the fate uh, currency as well as the uh, influence of the star map as well. So do bear that in mind when you choose to skip the campaign, and you need to work pretty hard for the, those currencies as well as influence points. The second quality up update is the one that you can mark an item to be your favorite. And the great thing about this feature is that when you mark those items, uh, those cannot be sold or salvaged at the vendor. So I do I do use it and like it a lot. You can also favorite, uh, sort by favorite as well. Uh, so these are pretty, pretty good features that I, I use uh, to try out different builds. All right, now onto the season itself is uh, it's a pretty complex season and there are quite a lot of aspects I would like to cover and also give you some uh, tips and tricks to it. Uh, first thing first is that the, during the mission, uh, there are villains and commanders that can become a harbingers. Now harbingers, uh, they spawn pretty often so far because 70% of them can be converted into harbinger. That is green in color when you see on the map. These are pretty dangerous kind of bosses because they do have a Auras, and we'll get there in just a bit. Uh, it comes with a whole pack of hard enemy as well. Do watch out your terror card uh, augmentation. And also, each of those alive hard uh, will buff the Harbinger with the 50% HP. So you do want to kill them off first and uh, take down the uh, the Harbinger. All right, Harbinger, of course, need, need not to say drop. Uh, badges as well, the currency for this season. Uh, second of all is that uh, it does have a very interesting and unique seasonal mechanic which is called the escalating enchantment. To me, uh, it is like an extra slot of um, six affixes, if I may see it that way. And as you progress onto the map, as you kill enemies, and this uh, enchantment will be randomly rolled onto each of the fixes to see um, to to give you the kind of buff that you may or may not need, depending on uh, what kind of build that you have. So the um, all in all, you will see all the pop up seeing like twelve percent damage bonus for channel skill or thunderbolt or authority restore x amount of xp for every enemy it hits so it's rather interesting i do personally like those uh, like the thunderbolt of authority because usually that kind of um, mechanism is a little bit hidden uh, in the in in the game itself but this season seems to bring it quite uh quite a lot of focus on the thunderbolt of authority which is kind of fun uh second point is that you can earn like uh tokens or through some of these mechanisms as well enchantments so that is pretty cool as well now do bear in mind that of the six uh affixes or enchantment they do have different kind of like um uh, shall I say type to it so um it roll a certain affixes onto a certain slot so just Bear that in mind. Now the uh, the enchantment. Uh, if you see some good enchantment that uh, you like to lock for five missions, you can do so. There are particular locks that you can do for the morality, uh, archaeotech as well as relics. So those are the three colors: the the yellow, the green, as well as the red color um, enchantment that you can lock. So if there's some that is really good for your build and you, you would like to lock it for five missions, you could. Uh, those clams, uh, those enchantment clams can be purchased uh, from uh, Red Nerve and Winter or you can, you can just drop from all the loot and it does stack as well. But do bear in mind that you can only have one lock at one time. So you cannot have multiple uh, enchantment being locked. So every time you lock a new one, then the previous one uh, of any other type will be 
uh, removed. Uh, need not to say you only have three slots that can be clamped. The other three, uh, the primary as well as the um, the secondary, cannot be locked. Those are those are random as you progress uh, playing the game. All right. So that is the enchantment clamps. Um, another one. The next bit of it is that you earn badges uh, as you take down the hand uh, harbingers as well as just playing the game. Uh, chess and so on those badges can be uh, used to buy the uh, clamps uh, the previous um, the one that i show you, you can lock those affixes or you can buy the stash as well so there's escalation stashes uh, type one two and three for the season journey you have to buy all three types of of course uh, the 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 best value for money would be the third one, although it costs the most, but it guarantees a certain kind of like uh, Akiotet relics as well as seasonal items. So that is a pretty cool one, uh, a little bit like the season four, if you play the season four mechanic um, of, of those uh, statues, uh, stash. Right, so that is uh, that is the, uh, the the badges, and you could actually see all these uh, currency tab. You can trace it in the currency tab. Now, next bit is the escalation bar. So as you take down the um, as your escalation bar goes up, uh, once it fill up, and uh, it will spawn a uh, seasonal mission. From what I've seen so far, the seasonal mission seems to uh, you know. Um, to stack to onto each other so you can do a few at, a, at one time you don't need to be compelled to do a seasonal mission straight away once you fill up a bar because it depends on whether you have uh, enough keys or not now each seasonal mission will have two guaranteed escalation cash and that is very important because this cash counts towards the seasonal objective as well as give you pretty good uh, loot it also have a chance to spawn an ultimate harbinger and the uh, ultimate harbinger is the ultimate boss uh, that will of course drop your pretty cool stuff as well and um so do bear, do bear in mind uh, of the escalation picks and the next one is the keys and caches now the uh, when even when you play the random missions and so on you may see some yellow color cache on the map and it looks very very beautiful um, is instead of the red color the usual one is a yellow color or golden color and you can use the escalation cache cash key to open it uh, for uh, for loot um, and this chest has a 15% chance to appear in any rhythm a uh, random mission as well um, and I, I personally would only start a seasonal mission if I have two keys at least because otherwise it's a little bit of waste if you want to use a seasonal mission but you don't have enough keys to open those chests. Uh, one good thing to also highlight is that it does have the void key of escalation as well if you play season 4 this should be familiar with you you get an extra uh, chest to open after you finish the void crusade uh, so that is fun time I, I can't miss that in season 4 now next bit is that uh, harbingers uh, those bosses come with an aura and you can see on the screen as well the auras are, are pretty large and not auras are uh, terrible but some of them are very um, to make the type of harbinger a little bit more uh, dangerous so I highlight them in uh, in yellow for you guys to see to watch out for uh, those uh, harbinger tied to a certain map Next bit is that uh, starting a seasonal mission is through the UI uh, when you're on your you know, ship you can click the start seasonal mission uh, once you start it you can just apply the tarot card as per normal uh, as I mentioned before there is a chance to spawn a seasonal boss the ultimate Avenger and the um, and it does have a better chance to drop the seasonal item now next bit is uh, the shrine very much like the season 5 if you see it, the one before any other season is that uh, the shrine does uh, work a little bit differently when you are in that particular season and for the season of escalation we have shrines of escalation uh, one third of the chance you will see a seasonal shrine so it doesn't happen all the time Bear in mind though, it does reroll all your non-locked enchantment. Um, so if you do have very, very nice combination of enchantment, you may want to think twice, but it does have a chance to spawn high quality loot. I do have seen it, I've seen it before. So 30% of chance you get the uh, high, high uh, quality loot. I don't really care about the buff nor the, uh, the uh, hot enemy, but the high quality loot is what you gamble against reloading, rerolling all your Enchantment. Sometimes you may have a lot of crap enchantment and want to en and reroll that, and you can use the shrine to do that as well. Just uh, a bit of thinking or decisioning. Decisioning. 
Now, um, seasonal items, uh, the next three pages, I'm, I'm going to show you some of these uh, seasonal items and my thought on that as well. Uh, just a bit of background. I've played uh, all the classes uh, with, um, uh, besides, um, except the Battle Sister, all of them I've got the level 100 and in end game. So, when I look into this whole set of armor, uh, the Unbroken uh, Shelter is it, all right. I mean, it's not the, 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 the best card of fixes. Uh, you don't really get around too often, depending on what class you play, unless you play a melee. Um, so I would say, well, if you don't have any better ancient or archaeo tech um, relics item, why not? Uh, Sage Solace is kind of uh, interesting as well. It does have a flat damage bonus and also um, stun against the chance to stun against the slow or shock enemies in this game. You tend to slow and shock a lot because uh, that's how this game works really. Uh, but the most exciting thing for me to see is the rampage of the reckless because it does convert your single target skill into an AOE skill. Now of course it doesn't apply to bosses but uh, suffice to say this game has quite a fair bit of um, you know mobs surrounding you and the single target uh, is not really my favorite but if the single target kill can cause an explosion then it's why not so it could be quite interesting the rampage of reckless but like i said you know most of the classes in this game i would go for the ancient item is only for tech priest that's kind of unique when it comes to um it doesn't have a very good ancient item support then i would go for the architect and of course another thing about the architect um, relics which is the red item that you've seen here you can reroll all the uh four to four to five or four to five affixes that you can reroll them um and you can customize the the the, the, the items based on the build that you have next bit is are the weapons i'm not going to go through all of them uh the first one is the destruction of reach which um, basically is uh the further you are the the better damage you deal probably better for a uh, range assassin but uh the rest of it i'm not entirely sure because sometimes most of the time you do have a lot of mobs uh, quite near you as well especially when you want to uh, skip through the dungeon quite fast or or the mission quite fast to accomplish the uh, objective uh sacred slaughter uh two hand weapon again is mainly for either assassin or the uh, crusader so that is all right and the third one is really a hybrid weapon i'm not sure whether the combo weapons are called of the battle sister are also part of hybrid but hybrid is mainly for other or the classes like the uh the psyche so i mean that is kind of interesting as well explode on kill is also also quite quite uh, desirable um so yeah there's something to think about the next the last bit is really the uh, seasonal items for the uh, other slot as well um not going to get excited over the bounty of pentinent unless you are playing the assassin that uses surprised um as the as the uh, as this as the bell item uh, ages of the v uh, vigilance is is all right i mean it's not that like you no know, wow or special and the last bit of it uh it's kind of interesting always nice to gain the berserker token as well as the en enraged token on some sense so i mean this could be quite interesting the war rangers frenzy uh to help you to get the tokens if you don't have the items to support it um, so that is an option for you now next speed is the escalation shot so again um, not going to deep dive too much on it i think it's more for the battle sister car kind of build because uh, resource cost is not something that um, you know that that affect other classes too much uh, psycho always like to have the maximum kind of like uh, resource so I, I i don't i don't really um, you know, play around with resources so much. Crusader, the resources by uh, accumulated through time, so could be somewhat um, useful, but uh, I'm not going to think that it'll change my build a lot for my Crusader. Uh, nothing to think about on the Tap Priest nor the um, nor the the other one, which is the um, Assassin or or yeah, this, yeah. So none none of these are really something that I would think too much. On the shot itself, the uh, battle sister is the only one that I think would benefit the most from this one. But having said that, a lot of time once you put in the same doctrine onto all the slot that you have or all the sockets that you have, the remaining one is really plug the gap of your build, which is to have the all resist and or the uh, the critical strength. So I I don't really see how I'm going to use this um, you know too much. But it's good. It's an option as you build up your hero. Um, now, there are unicorn items, items as well. Uh, this is a very, very interesting looking portrait frame. Uh, to them, it's ultra rare. 
is only one in one thousand chance to drop from the champion or stronger enemies. So, uh, to be honest, one in one thousand is it really um, you know uh, a very ultra rare? I think it's kind of doable. I'll, I'll see if I can get it within this season. Usually, one season is within six months, uh, months. And um, but champion or bosses, uh, each mission should have quite a number, and there are tarot cards to spawn extra champion as well. Uh, like belief, like murder. So, uh, you you could have a have a go at it if that is what you want to uh, go for. All right. Now the next bit is really the seasonal objective that is very unique to season six, the season of escalation. None of this really um, you know uh, concern me too much. The only one that seems a little bit tricky to do is the tier three master, the Hamben, uh harbinger Protoize, which is to eliminate a harbinger of escalation without killing the minions first and it's kind of difficult because a lot of times um your your skill may accidentally hit a um a a, a minion shall i say uh and the yeah i mean even if the minion get in in the way of your single target beam they will die as well so i i i i think i will yet to see how i'm going to do it maybe i'll do it at lower difficulties to see if i can one shot or or very easily kill off the harbinger without killing any minions uh, but we will see how that is going to play out uh the next bit uh nothing too uh tough for the tier five and uh, tier six and tier five uh just that for tier five heroic you need to open 100 seasonal chests which could be quite a number i would say so you do need to play a fair bit uh, i'll update you all on my progress and last but not least uh there are very interesting decor for you to put it in a bit like a, a bit like uh the the war uh the warcraft leech king kind of uh, look to it so yeah i mean you could uh, collect some of this uh, decor for your ship as well so thank you very much for watching and any uh, question do drop me at the description below uh, and the comment box below and uh, do check out the pin comment as well if i miss out anything or if i discover any any cool tricks and tips i'll i'll very inclined to put it there for you guys all right see you next time goodbye